Welcome, Sago, Scano, Lori Davis-Hill here, Director of Six Nations Health Services and Incident Command for the Pandemic Response for Six Nations of the Grand River. This is your Tuesday, May 26th, COVID-19 update. May 24th to 30th is Paramedic Services Week. Watch our social media outlets daily for information from our, our own Six Nations Paramedic Services, including wearing masks and gloves and how they protect themselves when out on calls. We are moving towards one of the most challenging summers we have ever had to experience. We're in a state of emergency due to COVID-19 and we are already seeing mass gatherings that are just inviting more virus spread. What's also adding to our challenges is this current heat and humidity that is with us. So let's talk today about what we can do to try and cool off during this heat wave. Reduce, eliminate or schedule, reschedule strenuous activities until the coolest time of the day. Wait until the sun goes down to clean your car, porch or deck. Wear lightweight, loose-fitting, light-colored clothing to reflect heat. Remember, dark, especially black, attracts the heat to you. Eat easy-to-digest foods like fruit or salads and sanitize those fruits before eating. Drink plenty of water and drink water even if you don't feel thirsty. Focus on non-alcoholic and decaffeinated fluids since alcohol and caffeine can dehydrate you. Water with ice can also keep you hydrated and will help with those of us who experience complications from diabetes. Spend time in air conditioning if you should have an air conditioner. Uh, some people even choose to sit in their air-conditioned car for a short time. Use electric fans. Try to stay out of the sun. Take cool baths or showers. And also remember your fur family members. Make sure they have a supply of water, provide shade, and make sure they are not too active in the sun. Also, because wearing masks is still very important right now to help stop the spread of COVID-19, you have to pay very close attention to your body this summer as the temperatures keep climbing. If you have to be outside in the heat and humidity, especially during this time when wearing masks is the recommendation, taking breaks and staying hydrated may be more important than ever. Watch for symptoms of heat illness, which include dizziness or fainting, nausea or vomiting, headache, rapid breathing and heartbeat, extreme thirst, dry mouth or sticky saliva, decreased urination with unusually dark yellow urine, changes of behavior in children like sleepiness or temper tantrums. If you have any of these symptoms during extreme heat, move to a cool place and drink liquids right away. Water is best. While waiting for help, cool a person right away by moving them to a cool place if you can, applying cold water to large areas of their skin or clothing, and fanning the person as much as possible. Now let's turn our attention to our numbers. As of today, we report 13 cases of COVID-19. Yesterday, we mentioned at Six Nations an additional positive case. This means we have two active cases. Contact tracing has been underway for both of these cases since they were tested. Please be advised that neither case is connected to bread and cheese delivery. If there is concern for the community at large, public health would provide the necessary guidance. We have completed 670, six, sorry, 687 total tests. 530 tests have come back negative. 56 people have been directed into self-isolation by Australian Public Health. In our neighboring and surrounding communities, Mississaugas of the Credit remains at one positive case reported. Haldeman Norfolk Public Health Unit, 200 positive cases, 93 resolved and 31 deaths. Grant Public Health Unit reporting 108 positive cases, 93 resolved and 4 deaths. And Hamilton Public Health Unit reporting 647 cases, 421 resolved and 32 deaths. And Toronto Public Health reporting 10,212 positive cases, 7,509 are resolved and 761 deaths. The reference document for symptoms of COVID-19 was updated on May 25th. Common symptoms of COVID-19 include fever or chills or a temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius or greater, new onset of cough or worsening of chronic cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Other symptoms of COVID-19 can include sore throat, difficulty swallowing, loss of smell or taste, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain, runny nose or nasal congestion in the absence of an underlying reason for these symptoms, such as seasonal allergies or postnasal drip. Additional details about non-typical signs and symptoms can be found on the Six Nations COVID-19.ca website. As I mentioned yesterday, the province has announced that testing is available to everyone. This is true. However, if you wish to be tested here at the Six Nations COVID-19 Assessment Centre, you must call ahead to schedule an appointment. You cannot just show up. The COVID-19 hotline is open seven days a week to take your calls. If you are experiencing even a mild case of one of the COVID-19 symptoms, 
we just mentioned, or any other new or unusual symptom, it is important that you call the Six Nations COVID-19 Assessment Centre at 226-446-9909 or toll-free at 1-855-977-7737. Testing is our best way to protect our community because early detection allows us to stop the spread. Let's all work together to keep Six Nations COVID clear, wear a mask in public, keep physical distancing, wash your hands frequently, and clean high-touch areas often. I will wear a mask to protect you. Will you wear a mask to protect me? And remember, Six Nations COVID-19 uh, COVID Relief Fund will be used to purchase much-needed personal protective equipment, medical supplies and equipment to maintain essential pandemic operations, as well as to support food and necessities for many community members who are facing financial challenges. The fund is administered by the Royal Bank of Canada and contributions can be made through electronic funds transfer at covidrelief at sixnations.ca. Public Works continues to ask for homemade masks and any and all donations are greatly appreciated. For more information, please call 519-445-4242. And if you would like to connect with the Six Nations Mobile Crisis Service, you can do so by phone at 866-445-2204 or 519-445-2204, and that's available 24-7. You can contact them by text Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4, at 226-777-9480, or by live chat Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4, and a link can be found on the COVID-19, Six Nations COVID-19.ca website. Again, it is Paramedic Services Week, so remember to watch our social media for posts from our paramedic services about how they protect themselves so they can protect you during the course of this pandemic. Please remember for our frontline workers uh, on, six, on Six Nations and around the world, uh, we want them to be safe. Please stay home for them. Please stay home for all of us. Stay well and stay safe. Nyawa.